Hey Realtors, Rob Keeney with Affinity Mortgage here. Just want to touch base a little bit. I was talking to one of my realtor partners earlier this week and he commented that nobody, none of his mortgage uh, partners had been reaching out in the last two weeks talking about mortgage rates. I kind of wanted to spray, uh, share, spread some light on the, the reason why. We've never seen uh, volatility like we have in mortgage rates like we have uh, in the last two weeks. What's been happening with all this coronavirus uh, situation You've seen the the effects on the stock market, or maybe you know you've seen the you know down or two or three thousand points you know one day ten percent of the you know ten percent off the Dow, um, up well, up a thousand or two points the next day, back down two thousand the next day. It, you know the the financial markets are so uncertain, yeah uh, you know so so the in, in the interest rates you know in the mortgage industry, you know what what's really happened is a secondary market. Uh, keep keeping in mind that. All of us lenders, we ultimately sell our loans into the secondary market. Uh, the secondary market has actually gotten gun shy about investing, is actually holding on to their funds. Um, so they're just not as interested in buying mortgages or mortgage-backed securities. And so uh, when when nobody's buying them, it, you know, it drives you know the rates up. You know, because their mortgages are seen as a higher risk. And really, what's happened is you know, there's a lot of concern about if the economy does you know really go into a deep recession. People losing their jobs. Will they be able to pay these mortgages? And and will we run into a situation like 2008 where we have a lot of foreclosures? And so it actually drove uh, mortgage rates up. However, the federal government did has stepped in. Uh, last Sunday's announcement had a little impact. It wasn't really huge. Kind of tapered rates down a little bit Monday and Tuesday. But Wednesday we saw rates skyrocket up to five percent. We ne we've never seen anything like that in one day. Yeah, you know, so just just some random numbers for you. Just uh, twelve days ago on Monday, March 9th, a thirty-year fix loan, a thirty-year fix conventional rate was two point eight seven five, the lowest we've ever seen. Uh, just three days later, it was up a whole one percent, three point eight seven five on Thursday, March 12th. You know, and, and you know, so all of our clients kept hearing, you know, uh, record low rates. Now we're in the high threes. Just three days later, um, you know, and then and then as you know, Wednesday this week it jumped up to five percent. Even yesterday, Friday morning, you know, March twentieth, uh, it was still five percent. But then yesterday we finally had some breakthrough. The federal government really is. The federal government will win. Fortunately for us realtors and mortgage lenders, all of us in the real estate industry, the federal government knows that real estate drives our economy more than anything else. Because ultimately people moving, buying homes, whether they're pre-owned or what, ultimately that leads to new home sales, new home construction. That new home construction, when you think about all the industries and you know, sectors involved, that drives the economy. And so the federal government will make sure that our rates stay down because you know, if they hover at 5%, real estate sales will come, you know, really will slow down a lot. And so they're going to make sure that rates stay down. So the, yesterday they really took a lot of action and rates tumbled almost a full 1% just yesterday alone. And so I'm finally feeling better because I've, I've had some of your clients under contract to buy and I've been telling them we're not going to lock until things do start to recede a little bit. And fortunately, Yesterday it started, I do anticipate, and I'm praying and hoping, and I, I always tell people, your crystal ball works as well as mine. Uh, I can't predict the future and know that it's good, they are going to drop this coming week, but hopefully as the government does take more action, they will taper back down at least into the threes, hopefully mid threes or low threes again. But um, right now, they so they dropped yesterday, we're back down around four, um, which is you know fantastic compared to five. But, uh, you know, so that's why, you know, when I heard that uh, no no lenders had been sending out their rates, you know, it, it was funny because I was telling, you know, my, 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 my realtor partner that, you know, I hadn't sent my rates out just because, wow, everybody's, everybody thinks we're in the threes still. And, you know, I knew I was at 4.5 and then I was at 4.875 and I didn't want to send that out. And I was, you know, I was glad to find, you know, glad to hear that nobody else was either. But uh, I did, I did want to let you all know what is going on. And, uh, you know, it's a very, very volatile time in the financial markets. It, even uh, the, the mortgage gurus in New York and Los Angeles, you know, there, there are no mortgage gurus right now. Nobody knows what's happening and this is, nobody's ever seen this before. And so, 
uh, we're we're thankful for the uh, the leadership in Washington D.C. that they're taking the action they are, and we're confident that they are getting a handle on it. And so, you know, whether rates are, you know whether or not rates are going to go down to three or under three again, I don't know. I can't promise that. I think if we get to the mid threes again, that's a good good interest rate. I mean, honestly, I think four is really keep things in perspective, folks. But um, you know, I, you know, but uh, for our client's sake, I hope it goes as low as we can. You know, it's interesting. I tell folks, I've been telling folks this week, and it's absolute truth, and I'll always be honest. You know, whether it's with you or your clients, mortgage companies like us, we do not make another dime, whether the interest rate is three point zero or five point zero. The fact of the matter is, we get paid on the loan amount, and that's it. And so, when we sell those loans into the secondary market. We get paid on the loan amount. We get a paid a percent of the loan amount. So it doesn't matter what the interest rate is. And, and the, well, I will say the way our company runs. Some companies do, we do have the option of charging a higher rate and selling it for more profit. But at Affinity Mortgage, we don't. We keep it to the same, the exact same profit margin uh, and revenue, uh, revenue amount. So, um, you know, so, so again, you know, when, when I'm charging 5% or I'm charging 3 per, you know, 3% to your client, it, it's the exact same revenue to, to our company. Okay. And so, you know, if you're, if you're a member of the Plano Frisco McKinney area, real estate agents only uh, Facebook page, I posted something this morning. I thought was really good. Uh, it's, from, it's a quote from Mark Cuban. I typically don't follow Mark Cuban very much, but I thought he had a really good perspective and I, encourage you all really in this time where there's a lot of nervousness among your clients. I've talked to a lot of youth and they're, you know, the, you know each, it seems like, a, you know, each realtor's had a lit, you know, seen a little bit of nervousness among one or two clients, but across the board, you know, there's still a lot of activity happening, you know, still a lot of multiple offers on homes, uh, you know, still, still clients coming into town to look at homes, still sellers calling to put their homes on the market. You know, obviously we, we want to take caution, uh, we want to be safe, um, you know, but, you know, Mark Cuban had a really good, a really good quote and I'm reading it, it says, rather than focusing on how bad it is, focus on how you can use this time to connect with your future customers. It's a great time when we're all, you know, staying at home to really reach out to your database, call your past clients, call you definitely be calling your current clients, find out how you can serve them. Whether, whether they want to, to, you know, virtual tours, you know, video tours, or if they want to meet you. Um, you know, there's also a lot of tips online. I've seen in various uh, Facebook groups that have posted these as well. You know, Capital Title put out a very nice tips for, you know, listing your house and, you know, in this environment, if you're going to have showings. Also for, you know, buyers, if you're going to be going through homes in this environment, how to be safe. You know, so, you know, Folks, you know, it's a fantastic time to lead, to take an opportunity here uh, when, when a lot of folks are just scared to do anything, including other realtors. It's a good opportunity for you to, to be a leader and to really embrace your clients and, and you know, help them, you know, to understand and guide them through this time. So uh, if I can be of any help to you, um, I am calling all of my clients this weekend, just as I mentioned for, you know, I'm doing the same. And so I'll be calling them all and we'll be talking to them about the interest rate volatility. Um, I'm not locking my folks yet. I am still hoping that the rates will go down more. Now, what I'm going to offer to some of your clients, if we do have to lock interest rates before, uh, if, you know, if we have to lock their interest rates and, you know, heaven forbid it spikes back up again, um, what I'm going to do is offer them that they, a uh, free refinance if they come back to me in six months. Now, when I say a free refinance, I'm not talking about uh, chart, you know, beefing up their interest rate at that point to then give them a lender credit to pay for their closing costs. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reduce my branch's revenue and pay for their closing costs. Okay, so it's going to be a true refinance for your client. Um, so, so that said, you know, I don't, I, I don't want folks to feel, you know, feel trapped. By this current scenario, they got stuck with a high interest rate because of this coronavirus and COVID-19 situation. You know, if they do get stuck with an unfortunately high interest rate, you know, in the mid to high fours uh, or five, then, then then I'm going to help them through that with a refinance in six months. But uh, uh, that said, you know, let's let's embrace our clients. Let's lead them through. And uh, let's also please be safe out there. 
If I can help you with anything, I am working this weekend. If you need any pre-qualifications or, or uh, any questions to help any of your clients, you can always reach me at 214-542-4095. Thank you and be safe.